Hey guys, what up? It's your girl Emily here, and today's video is on this very minimal, lazy day kind of no makeup makeup look. It's just literally, it's the easiest makeup look that I know how to do. Very minimal, very quick. Um, something you can do under five minutes, honestly. Like, this is what I do if I want to put some makeup on and when I'm going to college. Very quick, very easy. I really hope you guys like it. Um, if you do, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Also, please remember to give the boys that I've mentioned down below, the bands, Sahara and Lady Livid, please remember to go and check them out. Give them, you know, give them some love, tell them I sent you. Um, I really, you know, they're both two amazing, talented bands and I really do love them both. Um, so yeah. Also guys, I've done my very first hair tutorial in this video, so if you guys like that, then please let me know. Otherwise, I love you and let's get on with it. So first what we're going to do is we are going to go in with these Naturally Radiant Cleansing Exfoliate Daily Glycolic Acid Daily Exfoliating Cleansing Pad Thingies. These here are from Superdrug and I really like them. I don't use them all the time because I don't need to. But you just take a look. I'm just going to take a pad. This is just going to make sure that my skin's nice and it's clean. And it's got no traces of makeup or dirt or grime or anything like that on it. Also, this has really good vitamins and stuff in it for your skin. Just saying, I honestly use these more than like makeup wipes because I don't wear makeup all that often. And I feel like I don't like... I don't want to use a bazillion products in my skin routine because I feel like that's quite often quite unnecessary so I don't I just like to use these if I don't wear makeup for a day then I'll usually just go over my face with these so yeah then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to put on the tea tree daily facial moisturizer from Superdrug if I can get some more out I love this moisturizer I'm just gonna use that much it's such a nice moisturizer and especially if you've got more acne prone skin, it's really good. And I've got a bit of a blemish or two, so I'm going to put some of the Superdrug Tea Tree Anti-Spot Stick on it. No this video isn't sponsored by Superdrug, they don't even know I exist. It's just I have a lot of their products and it happens to be that I really like them. So I'm just going to put... Pet, pop, pet this all over my skin where my blemishes are just like that and I'm gonna let that sink in for this to kind of sink in I'll go through my hair and stuff and chat to you guys as well so I'm gonna use the Batiste instant hair refresh dry shampoo I use the tropical one and I don't use a lot but on days where I just don't want to wash my hair, I don't want to brush it, this is just what I like to do. Spray a whole load of this into my roots. Really nicely massage all that dry shampoo in. I just do little sections as well, I'm really working in. And then... Gonna go into the back of my head. I only, I yeah, like this tin is gonna last me ages because I don't use a whole lot of it and I don't use it that often. This is just for days when I'm being exceptionally lazy, which I am today. Then what I'll do is I'll go in with my Herbal Essences Smoothing Serum and use like two pumps of that. And then with this, I'm just gonna run it through my hair. Because I've got curly, wavy-ish hair, this just will help detangle my hair and everything like that and just add hydration and stuff into it. Then I'm just going to flip that bit over just like that. Hold that there. And stick a little bow clip into it. And that's what I do. Done. Now that I've done all of that, I'm just going to go onto my base. Now for my base, sometimes I'll go in with this here, which is the MUA Skin Define Hydro Foundation. 
In all honesty, this is a lot more like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation, but I still really like it. Sometimes if I'm wanting a little bit of glow underneath it like I might do sometimes, I will go in with the MAC Strobe Cream. But today I just don't think I need to, so I'm just going to go in with this. Pop a squirt of it on my hand. And then I'm just going to apply this like a wood moisturizer in all honesty. There's not a whole lot of pigment and stuff to it, so you don't really need to worry about being too precise with this like you would a foundation. Because it does blend out and it blends out on it blends in just like a moisturizer it just evens my skin out a little bit and it adds a little bit of color to my skin as well because this is this is the shade ivory but I think it's a little bit more bronzy than ivory so now what I'm gonna do my hair is just going crazy um, is I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the Body Shop Fresh Sorbet Blush and mine is in the shade Cuban Watermelon. This is such a gorgeous blush. I love it ever since ever since I laid eyes on this thing. I love it. It's got a very slight shimmer to it and it's a nice gel blush. So super easy to apply. It smells good. And it just, it just adds the whole, just adds a nice flush to your cheeks. Which, I mean, even on my makeup days, I still look really nice and healthy in pink. And I always like to have nice pink cheeks. Blush is something that I cannot live without. So, yeah. And this stuff, a little bit of this goes a long way as well. It's really good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And I'm just going to pop a little bit in the inner corners here. Not a whole lot, because you don't need a whole lot. I'm just blending this in out with my finger. Just like that. It just kind of cancels out the darker, the darkness on my inner corners there. Now what you want to do is I'm going to take a teeny tiny bit of this. This is just a Maybelline um, Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow. You don't have to do this if you want. I just like to do this because it adds a little bit of color to my eyes. Which I'm not going to lie, I do sometimes like. And I'm just going to pat this on my eyelid. Just a little bit to give it a sheen and colour. Now what you want to do is go in and do your eyebrows. I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Shape um, eyebrow pencil here. And I'm just going to go in and fill my brow. Just a little bit just to make it more defined and know the drill. Nothing crazy. This isn't gonna look like an Instagram brow or anything. That's not the purpose of this. It's just to give it some definition and some color and some fullness to my eyebrow. Because I do have some places in it that are a little bit sparse that I really don't necessarily like. And then I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London Brow gel thing, brow display, brow gel, and just sort of set those puppies into place. Like so. If you want to, this step is completely optional, but I do like to do it. I do like to get a little bit of like face butter. Use whatever face butter you like. This is just one from Thin Lizzy. And I do like to kind of set my inner corners where I put my concealer down and my T-zone. Just like so. Going in with the Rimmel London Waterproof Mascara. This is in the shade blue, um, brown black. Again, very gently with this because I want the lashes to be coloured and slightly defined. I'm not going for a false eyelash effect or anything like that. Very natural. So just a good coat of that on either on either side. And then last but not least, I am going to put on a little bit of this lip colour here. This is the NYX Mineral Lipstick in the shade Coco. Just going to put a very small amount onto it. Um, 
And then, yeah. Thanks for watching.